Okay, the first thing we're going to do here is mix up the uh, uh, glucose solution by adding three quarters of a test tube of, it's going to be tricky by the way, a small tube. That's about three quarters of a test tube, glucose solution, and shaking it up. Until it dissolves. We're going to add 20 milliliters, or about half, I'm sorry, 20 drops it says, or about half a milliliter. Um, to this test tube. Got a few flakes of sucrose in it. It's about 20 drops in there. And about 10 drops of our Benedict solution. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. There we have it. And we're going to start heating that in the hot water we prepared. We're going to make a control solution. Of just water and 10 drops of Benedict solution. There we are. They both look pretty much the same, although there's more water in the test tube mark C or control. And wait four to five minutes and see what happens. Okay, after about a minute and a half to two minutes, you can see the the tube on the left is sort of greenish now. And the tube on the right, it's about the temperature of hot tea, the beaker of water, is still retaining its blue. We'll give it another two minutes. Right here again you can see the control solution on the right retains the blue. That's due to the copper plus two ions in the Bioret solution. Excuse me, in the, the Benedict solution from copper sulfate. Whereas the reducing sugar that we put into the tube on the left is reducing the copper ion from plus two to plus one which gives it a reddish color. Let's look at that. You can see the copper one reddish color there, right? There you go. There you go. And here's the control solution with a C on it. It's still the same color even though they're both in the hot water beaker about the same time. It's about three minutes at the temperature of hot tea in there. Okay? All right, that's the first part of the organics laboratory you have.